Are you facing lag in Valorant after update? This video will helping you achieve the best FPS reducing input latency and fix stuttering. And gives you the best experience in the game. If in the end you are happy with your result, please consider the like the video. And if you are new to the channel then subscribe. So let's start the video. First create a restore point. If anything goes wrong we can revert them. Go to search and type create a restore point. Simply open it. Now select C drive, and then click on config. Make sure this system protection is turn is on. Now hit apply, and then ok. Now click on create, name it whatever you wish. Then click on create, it will take few seconds. When it done, now here you can see system restore. If something goes wrong, you simply click here to revert all the changes. Next update your drivers. I will provide link in the description. I have Intel, so I will install Intel drivers. This will install those driver which are up to date. Next we have to disable startup programs. Open task manager, and then go to startup, and disable all unnecessary program. If you don't know what are unnecessary programs just leave it. And also don't disable this vanguard. Now turn off background apps. Go to settings. Then click on privacy. And scroll. Click background apps. Now simply turn all the background apps by here. This will reduce CPU usage. Now changing power plan setting. Go to battery icon. Simply right click on it. And then click on power option. Now click on create a new power plan. Now set this to high performance. Save this plan as whatever you wish. Then click on next and then create. Next we have to change the Valorant compatibility mode. Simply right click on Valorant shortcut. Then go to its properties. Then go to compatibility. Now check, disable full screen optimizations. And run this program as an administrator. And hit apply and then ok. Now switching Valorant to high performance. Simply go to settings. And then go to gaming. Make sure this game bar is off. Now go to game mode. And this should be on. Now go to graphic settings. Click on browse and find where you install Valorant. I install an E drive. Riot games. Valorant. Live. And add Valorant. Now go to options and set this to high performance. Now hit Windows plus R key on your keyboard. And type MS config. And hit enter. Now click on boot, and go to advanced options. Now check number of processors, and set this to max. In my case I have only 4. Now click on OK, and then apply to save the settings. You can restart later. Next update your display drivers. Go to Windows icon simply right click, and open device manager. Now find display adapters, and expand it, and simply right click, and update drivers. Now download this file. I will provide the link in the description. Simply open it. First open CMD optimizations. And now one by one run both the file as admin. Now open programs folder. Now install ISLC. Now copy my settings. The list size is, at least 1024 MB and set free memory as lower than, according to your RAM. Now set this 0.50. And check enable custom timer resolution. Set ISLC polling rate 1000. And simply click on start. This will do free up background resources, such as RAM, it will lowers input lag. Improvers FPS and response time. Now minimize it. Now install memory duct. After that open it. Go to files, settings, and check load on system startup. Now let me show you how it's work. Here you can see I have 31% of memory usage. Now click on clean memory. And you can see my memory usage is decrease. 
Whenever you feel your system getting slow, use Memory Duct to reduce the memory usage. Now open MSI Mode tool. Simply run as admin. Now find your graphic processor. In my case I have integrated Intel HD graphics. All you need to do set the priority to high, and simply hit apply to save the setting. Now go to Valorant config file, hit Windows plus R key on your keyboard, and type percent app data percent, and hit enter. Now click on app data, local. Find Valorant. Save, config, and open first folder, Windows. Now simply right click on game user settings, and edit. Now set resolution quality according to your systems. You can also change the shadow quality and other quality. Now simply go to file, and don't forget to save it. Now we are done with all the steps. Now restart your PC to apply the changes. You can do one more thing, play the game in low resolution. But the game looks blurry. So find the perfect resolution for your system. I hope your lag is now fixed. If you have any question, queries, or suggestions for other content that you like to see, then comment down in comment section below. And if you guys do enjoy this sort of videos, please do consider pressing that subscribe button. And if you are still getting frame drop, then watch this video. And if you want to increase FPS in GTA 5, then watch the right video. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. See you in the next video.